It is Monday, November 9th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorgeous Damn update. We have three pieces of information to cover today, including a look at the live stream and the water level at the dam. Also, a look at some of your comments regarding the construction materials used at the Three Gorgeous Dam, and we have some new tweets and information. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video, while researching for these reports, I come across information from various sources just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. First, we'll have a quick look at the live stream. And the spillway angle camera is still up and running today. And now a quick check on the side angle camera. It's still down today. But this could be an operational error. I could just be pressing the wrong button. And now let's have a quick look at the water level at the Three Gorges Dam. The current water level is 174.15 meters. The current inflow is not noted, and the current outflow is listed at 11,600 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. Over the past 24 hours, the water level at the Three Gorges Dam has actually dropped a bit. It was about 174.27 meters and currently sits at 174.15 meters. Upstream at Kuntan, the water level has also fallen a bit. It was about 175.16 meters and currently sits at 175.05 meters. And today we're going to have a look at some of your comments regarding the concrete and rebar used at the Three Gorges Dam and other dams around the world. This comment is courtesy of Ruthless Mindset. On the topic of concrete, I've been a concrete driver in Canada for over a decade now. To deal with the problem of concrete cracking in the freeze-thaw cycles, we deliberately put air into the concrete. This is called air entrainment. The scientific principle behind this is when a crack starts on a microscopic level, it reaches an air bubble and stops its progression. Moving ahead in the comment, in Canada, we also use small lengths of fiberglass to reinforce concrete and prevent cracking. Also, we have independent quality auditors to test various building materials. For the Three Gorges Dam, they reportedly had internal testers. We all know how corrupt this is in China. I also found a video that shows compromised rebar. Okay, thank you so much for the comment, Ruthless Mindset. The link to the video you provided shows what seems to be an Iranian steel manufacturer and a gentleman takes a piece of rebar and smacks it against a piece of concrete and it just snaps in half, almost like it's cast iron as opposed to rebar. Thanks again for the comment, Ruthless. Yeah, I don't think you're alone in thinking that some of these types of materials may have made their way onto the construction site at the Three Gorges Dam. And it only took a quick Google search to find many others worried about the quality of Chinese construction materials. This is courtesy of CDMG.com. Chinese steel is unsafe and should not be used for your metal building. And a couple of quick quotes from the article. Chinese companies do not have to meet the same standards or undergo the same rigorous testing that American steelmakers do. For example, in 2015, Chinese steel companies added the element boron to their steel. This allows companies to receive a tax rebate, which is great for profit. However, the element boron causes welds to crack. This is a terrifyingly huge safety hazard. And I'm fully aware that 2015 was after the construction of the Three Gorges Dam but this does highlight the concerns about Chinese construction materials. And this comment is courtesy of Nikola Tosif. Most of the criticism towards the dam is applicable towards every large dam. Yes, its size is larger, but it is also considerably newer. I don't see how the dangers described, rust, movement, cavitation damage, would not apply towards the much older dams in the U.S. as well. As for the new project, squashing the environmentalist movement in China, people need electricity. 
it is either going back to the Stone Age or building power plants. I think dams are much better for the environment globally than coal power plants. Solar wind, nuclear, and so on are being built, but they have their flaws and critics. It takes time, space, and money to build them, and dams have a natural synergy with intermittent power like solar and wind. And here's a response to that comment from Sam. You can't leave out the geological and geographical effects of the dam. Yes, if rust or cement was not an issue, then earthquakes, landslides, and other natural disasters would be. And thanks for the comments, Nicola and Sam. And Nicola, you're absolutely correct. There is reason to be concerned about the construction of dams around the world, especially here in America. Back in May, we had two dams collapse in Michigan. And a couple of years ago, we barely avoided tragedy in Oroville, California. And that actually ties in with this comment, courtesy of Lewis Hansel, regarding Oroville. I said at the time in the photos of the damaged dam, I didn't see rebar exposed. Whenever you see cement structures that have suffered a catastrophe, failed dams for instance, you see rebar sticking out from the damaged cement. I didn't see that in the Oroville photos, but no one made a point of it then, and I forgot it. Now, here is a photo of Oroville, and I don't see tangled rebar where I would expect it. I suggest that whoever built that structure cut a big corner and neglected the rebar. They got away with it for a long time. Now if you have photos of the rebar that I have never saw, just let me know. The photo here doesn't appear to show any rebar. And thanks for the comment, Lewis. I'll definitely look into the rebar issue at Oroville real soon. And I think that shows that there is concern about the quality of construction materials used in dams around the world. It seems that for every safety rule and regulation put in place, there's a nefarious contractor looking to cut a corner. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And now a few interesting tweets about the Three Gorges Dam and construction in China.
and I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.